Hello everyone. I hope you all are keeping well and doing great. Welcome back to the module 3 lesson 1. I apologize for the delay in recording this lesson. The previous lesson was a long time ago and this lesson is after a long time. The reason is I was sick and that's why I could not record new material for all the grades. Now I have started for other grades as well. And hopefully before your exam, I will finish all the lessons that are there for your term three exam. Now the first lesson is on solving polynomial equations by graphing. Before I move on to the lesson, I want to quickly tell you, please do subscribe for my channel. It would re really mean a lot. And I want to thank all the subscribers, so many uh, hundreds of subscribers. I thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, please do share this, uh, th these videos with your friends. You can share the links with your friends who might find it useful as well. Now, moving on to the lesson. We will, this is a short lesson, you know. So only one learning objective in this, that is to solve polynomial equations by graphing. Before we start this lesson, you might have remembered the last module was also on polynomials. Yes, but this is on polynomial equations. We will solve them. We will find the solutions for the equations. So that is what we are doing. In the last, we did operations on polynomials, adding, subtracting, multiplying, binomials, polynomials, dividing. But here it is about polynomial equations. Now it's about graphing. The keywords are, it's only one keyword, sorry. The keywords is polynomial equations. Now solving polynomial equations by graphing. Now over here, let me show you this. This is a polynomial, right? Now whenever there is equal to equation comes, equation means you're equating something with other thing. So this is a polynomial equation. Why? Because it's equal to. How do you solve this? If you want to solve, that means it is the intercept the x intercept values that is the polynomial uh, that is the solution for the polynomial equation that x intercept is also called as the solutions now how would you solve it now if you recall before you might have studied if i want to know the x intercept okay this one i should just make the function equal to zero if this is the function of the graph make it equal to zero why? That means where is y equals to 0? At the x-intercept values. So what you need to do is you need to rearrange this and get everything to one side. Now, since this is higher power, let's take everything to the other side. x to, x to the power 3 plus 2x squared minus 4x and this becomes minus x or subtract both the sides by minus x. It will be totally 5, minus 5x five and this will be negative 6. That is basically equal to zero now that is basically the function f of x so now you need to make the function equal to zero and then solve you'll get the answer so you can see over here they have rearranged it and then you make this equal to zero and solve these are the zeros how would you solve them it is by pressing mode phi and over here up till cubic you can solve by pressing three the coefficients are you can see the coefficient before x cube is one then it's 2 before x squared, minus 5, and lastly we have minus 6. And the answer are, sorry, did I do anything wrong? It's 1, 2, minus 5. Sorry, it's not minus 6, it's minus 5 and minus 6. Now we will get the correct answer. Okay, I have done a mistake that I have just, I have pressed mode 5 and 3. It is mode 5 and 4. You can see the cubic is 4. Now, it's good that I, I made this mistake. I'm not going to cut this part. I'll let it be. The reason being, now, in your exam, you must be very careful on which, on which equation you select. If it's quadratic, it's 2. It's option number 3 over here. Since it's cubic power 3, select 4. And now, press the coefficients. So 1, 2, negative 5. And lastly, we have negative 6. I hope this is clear. It is 2, negative 1, and minus 3. So these are the answers. They are the zeros or the x intercepts. Now we will solve a problem. Now here they have recommended graphing calculator, but we do not use graphing calculator, so it is fine. Uh, I'm not sure whether they'll be asking this in exam, but even if they ask, 
and you have options given to you, you can fi find it directly by trial and error method. Now, I'll tell you how is this solved. See, now the problem is it's x to the power 4. Since it's x to the power 4, you can't solve it in your regular calculator. You need a graphing calculator. And um, the normal method is very onerous. It'll be very tiring. You, it'll take a long time. Now, here, find a related function. Related function means get everything to one side and make one side equals to 0. So, over here, you're subtra uh, adding minus 4x cubed. So, this side will be 0 over here. And this is the thing. The related function is this function over here. Okay. Now, if you want to find the solution, you should just solve this, making equal to 0. But how do you graph it? Now, over here, they have used a graphing calculator. Now, this is the graph over here. How would you graph is basically taking values, say take value of x as 0, as 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2, put it over here and then graph the points. But even if you graph, it's very, very hard and difficult to find these x values. Okay. So you can take the approximate x values. But now if it's just graphing and you have got four graphs, there's a trial and error method. Now, what this is, it's very simple. You will have four graphs with you. Choose any x value. I will start from 0. Okay, I'll choose this x value as 0. So, instead of this x in this given equation, the related equation, put 0 instead of x. Every way this becomes 0. What is remaining? Minus 5 is what's remaining. So, the answer over here would be minus 5. Is it so? Yes, that is minus 5. So, that is the answer. That's it. Now, I'm sure there'll be many graph, many answers with the same, uh, you know, minus 5. So, how about we change it? Let's say, take negative 2 over here. So, you will have to, uh, let's go back over here. Now, what you will have to do is, instead of x, you need to put minus 2. Please remember, use brackets when it is negative numbers. So, you will get the exact answer. I'll show you why. Because if it's an even power, 4. The answer over here is 16, right? But let me make it an odd power. That will be minus 8. So it makes a lot of difference. And now, say for example, if I don't, uh, if I don't use the bracket, see, okay, I'm deviating, but let it be because I want you to know. See, if the minus sign is within the bracket over here, you will get positive 4, right? Now I'll remove the bracket and I'll show you. The same thing, it is negative 4. The answer is not same. So that is why whenever you see negative numbers, it's most crucial that you put the brackets. Now, I will, I'll assume, uh, I'll try to find the value of minus 2. Let me put over here, instead of x as minus 2 inside the brackets and power 4, plus 4 times x is again minus 2, close the bracket, and x to the power 3. Lastly, we have plus 3 into minus 2 the whole square to the whole square and negative 5 the answer is minus 9 and look over here let's compare this is 2 see this is the value of 2 now if you look closely yes it's it's about 9 okay now i can't zoom over here but still it's it's corresponding to 9 it should correspond to 9 so that is the answer. It's minus 9 in the downside. So this is how you can directly get the answer of the graphs. Now what you must do is the trial error, trial error method. Now what if even at minus 9 there are two graphs? The two will be eliminated but two are remaining. Try one more point. There will be only one graph for one particular function. So you can easily find the correct answer by trial and error. I hope this is clear. So this is how we can uh, try, you know, even though we don't have graphing calculator, we can solve this. But generally, such problem won't be asked if there is graphing calculator, you need to have graphing calculator. But since it's not required for you, these type uh, mostly will not be asked in the exam. Now we move on to the second example problem, which is in fact the last example problem of this lesson. This is a small and short lesson. Now, here we have to solve polynomial equations. We have the problem saying, for an exhibit with six or fewer emperor penguins, the pool must have a depth of at least four feet and a volume of at least 1,620 one gallons 
or about 217 cubic feet that is feet to the power 3 per bird this is important per bird if there is three birds that would mean 3 into 217 that's that's what it meant per bird if a zoo has five emperor penguins what should be the dimensions of the pool shown in the figure to meet the minimum requirements so now you have five birds with you so what would you do you need to multiply so over here when you multiply this five times 217 what's gonna happen before that volume is basically all the dimensions must be multiplied now over here since they have told five emperor penguins it must be so much 217 into 5 that is 1085 feet cube now after that the equation represents the volume and what is the total volume over here we can just easily solve it up isn't it we can just solve so now uh, solve it up in the sense multiply all this so the equation over here is 2x plus 3 times 5x minus 2 times 2x that is equal to 1085 feet cube now the next step would be solving this how would you do you can do binomial multiplication that's uh, you can do the you know uh, foil method that's the method foil method and you can solve sorry it's not a 2x it's over year to year here to year over year to year and over year to year just multiply them and you will get the answers so it would be 2, 2x times 5x plus 2x times 2, this and this. Sorry, it's minus 2 plus 3 times 5x plus 3 times negative 2. And then whatever you get the answer, multiply it by 2x. So when you multiply over here, you will get 10x squared. So 5 times 2 is 10. x times x is x squared. Negative minus becomes negative. 4, 2 times 2 is 4x. And 3 times 5 is 15x. And over here, you're minus 6. And this can be multiplied further hand. And then you will be getting so over here. Now they have simplified, sorry. Minus 4 plus 15 is positive 11. Now you can multiply this inside. What happens? It will be 20x cubed because 2x is multiplied. Over here, it will be 22x squared. And lastly, you will have negative 6 times 2 is 6, 12x. That is equal to 1085. Now, we have seen in the last section, mode 5, not 3, it is mode 5, 4, and write in the coefficients, 20, 22, negative 12. What about the constant value? It's nothing, so it's 0. The answer is over here. Now, one second, I have, sorry, I have done a main mistake. The constant is not zero, guys. Look over here. Very, very important to note. The constant is this. You need to take it to the other side. What happens is this becomes negative over here. Negative 1085 is equal to zero. Take this to the other side. Make one side equal to zero and then you can solve. So the last value would be negative 1085. Now press equal to. So the x value is 3.5. And look over here, the other values are all imaginary. Whenever you have like this plus, that means it's imaginary. That is also imaginary. So only one real number, that is 3.5. You can do the same thing in calculator, a graphing calculator, you'll get the same answer. But now, and then di directly extract the answer. But now we did it in our calculator, we still get the answer because it's x to the power 3, that is cubic is the highest degree. And now look over here. This is the answer. 3.5. The other two are wrong. And then how do you find the length and width? Over here, you need to just substitute. So instead of x, you need to put 3.5. 3.5 times 2 is 7 plus 3. It's 10. Same thing. 3.5 times 5. Um, it will be 17, 8, 8, 7 times 2. Okay, anyways. Uh, 3.5 times 2 is 7, 14, 15, 16, 17.5, yes. Minus 2 will be 15.5. Okay, this is the answer. And then lastly, we have 2 times x is 3.5 into 2, it's 7. So this is the answers. And okay, that's it. So you found the length, width, and depth. Now, do check over here. 
is the depth at least four yes it is absolutely more than four feet now if you convert the gallons over here you will come to know we got 1085 right in the previous section we had 1085 of cubic feet cube that is more than 1620 gallons so it is uh, you know it is above the minimum requirement so yes these are the dimensions so please do check for the depth if at all the depth was less than four three no that wouldn't be the correct answer you could have tried other values but in this case we have only one correct answer so this must be your exact answer so these are your dimensions so this is the end of this lesson it is a very short lesson even the next lessons are very short and easy so please stay tuned for the coming lessons